Hey guys, these are here, and welcome back to another episode of my PlayStation 3 collection. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys the rest of the PAL games, exclusives, and games that didn't get Australian releases, also some variants. Uh, so the first four games are games that arrived this week, that's why they're not in um, continuous order from where we left off last week episode um, however we will continue on from k all the way to z um, yeah i hope you guys enjoy it any questions let me know and let's get going uh, so firstly thank you to jonas for sending me the um beanie lux edition games which is games from the netherlands belgium or luxembourg uh, he sent me a full set of these games guys you're going to see them all in this video the first one is deus ex human revolution and it's Beanie Lux Edition. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correct. Next we have Final Fantasy Lightning Returns 13, the Beanie Lux Edition. Final Fantasy 14, A Realm Reborn. Again, the Beanie Lux Limited Edition. Uh, Hitman Absolution, the Beanie Lux Limited Edition. Uh, so taking off what now from where we left off last time guys we have Kane and Lynch dead men didn't get an Australian release surprisingly Kane and Lynch dog days 2 limited edition uh, this one did get an Australian release but we didn't get the limited edition this actually comes with a slip cover too that's why it's got the not to be sold separately you'll see the slip cover in a future episode I don't store my sleeves with the normal games guys Karaoke Revolution. One of my favorite games, we've got Katamari Forever. This is the American version. I haven't yet tracked down a PAL version. That's a lie, I did have a PAL version, but it wasn't in that good of condition, so I sold it. Here we have Kick-Ass 2. This was exclusive to Italy and Spain, I believe course based after the movie here we have Killzone Classics HD this is from the trilogy guys the standalone release was this is not to be sold separately but this did actually have a release in Asia if you do want the retail version it is in English here we have the King of Fighters 13 the deluxe edition this comes with the soundtrack beautiful edition this one and that was published by Atlas, guys. The Last of Us, the season pass. This is the download code only sealed. Nice little niche thing to own. Now, there wasn't an, an actual English release of this. We have the Italian and the Dutch releases. There was a German release as well. And this is the Battle of the Sexes, a quiz game. Now two different covers, but it's the same game. And the discs actually say the Battle of the Sexes, which I'll show you guys quickly. The Ultimate Battle of the Sexes. Here we have a JRPG, uh, published by NIS America. It is Last Rebellion. Le Tour de France, season 2015. I'm a, actually a big fan of these games, guys. They're really fun. The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 2. Another NIS America game. This one's quite expensive today. It does have a PS4 release as well. And I believe a Vita release too, guys. Um, here we have Star Wars The Deluxe Edition. This was a French exclusive. This actually did come in a big box with a toy. I don't have that version, but I do have this release, which is pretty cool to have. It's got the gold spine. Here we have the Lego, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, the Nordic edition, which is the Scandinavian games. 
getting Navian releases. Let's dance with Mel B. And Leisure Suit Larry, box office bust. <laughs> I'm just gonna put these games away and put gear up some more guys, I won't be a second. Got lots of games to go through, some pretty exciting ones, so this should be a fun video, guys. Assuming we don't break everything. <laughs> now here we have Little Big Planet, the game of the year edition. This has got a really cool cover. And another pack that we didn't get in Australia, the Little Big Planet 2 Extras Edition. Again, it's got a pretty cool cover. Um, we've got a couple of um, variants of a game that's become very expensive. Um, firstly, we have the Middle Eastern variant of Lollipop Chainsaw, which is really cool. And there is a reason behind this variant, and it is because of um, they can't show women like this on the front of games, so they changed the cover. There are a few games like this, guys. Um, Lollipop Chainsaw being my favourite. I did see a sealed copy go for like $300 the other day, which is insane. Uh, so that is Lollipop Chainsaw. The, I won't say Middle Eastern, but it was in like United Arab Emirates and um, Saudi Arabia and countries like that. So I guess throughout the Middle East. And another Lollipop Chainsaw, but this is the Nordic edition. It does include five exclusive skins, which is really cool, guys. I'm really grateful to have this one. Shout out to Russ for the help with this. I believe there's one lollipop chainsaw variant I don't own still. And then I'll own them all, which will be like five or six. And maybe on a couple of Spanish exclusives. We have um, Lost 40 Principles Karaoke Party Volume 1 and 2. Let's go, baby. These games are looking pretty cool, but the song tracks are actually really good, guys. Uh, like David Guetta, you know, uh, Pharrell Williams, Ariana Grande, Major Lazer. There's some current artists on these packs, which is pretty cool. Again, only released in Spain, so they're going to be pretty hard to track down. Madagascar Cuts, another one that's becoming pretty hard to find. Here we have the Mafia 2 Special Extend Edition. This was part of the slipcover, which is a Polish exclusive. You guys will see that later on. Beautiful white cover, I love it. Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriot. This is the 25th Anniversary Edition. Metal Gear Solid, the HD collection. Here we have Men in Black Alien Crisis. Mini Ninjas. Mobile Suit Gundam, Target in Sight. Uh, interesting, this got an American release just under a different name. Same game. Which was... Mobile Suit Gundam Crossfire. Exactly the same game. Uh, here we have a really cool one, guys. If you don't own this, I'd definitely be trying to track it down. It is the Monkey Island Collection. Monster High, New Ghoul in School. Monster Jam, Path of Destruction. Mayhem, 
Now this comes with 3D glasses, guys. It's actually really fun. I played through it and finished it. Highly recommend it. Monster Madness Grave Digger. Here we have Mortal Kombat, the vanilla version. Australia didn't get this version, we only got the complete edition. Motorcycle Club. Pretty obscure game, this one, I would say. Now, MotoGP 13. Weirdly enough, we didn't get this in Australia. Do not know why. It was the same year the motorcycle racing track came pack came out, so that's what me and a couple of other Australian collectors put it down to. Just gonna put this pile away and grab another one, guys. Thanks for your patience. <laughs> Motor storm complete. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, you'll know well. You would have well and truly heard about this game, guys. Move Street Cricket. Uh, some people are under the impressions that this isn't an Indian exclusive. That is incorrect. It did get a UK release. And Move Street Cricket 2. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, Will of Fire. Now uh, this came in a big collector's edition, which I do own, and you guys will see those later. There's two of them, they're exactly the same and they're beautiful. Uh, I don't have the other game because both of my editions are sealed, um, and I'm not going to open them. And I had this version before I bought those packs. Here we have the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Collection. I highly recommend this one, guys. Uh, it's got Naruto Ultimate Storm 1, 2, and 3 on it. NASCAR 14. Did get a power release. Never Dead. Here we have NHL 2K10. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Yabura Ninja Gaiden Z. Well, this next one's become pretty expensive, and that's No More Heroes, Heroes Paradise, 100% uncut. Um, here we have a French exclusive. This is Obat Patink. It is a bocce game. And the sequel, Obat Patink 2. We call this the snail game. Being the snail in the front cover. <laughs> here we have One Piece Pirate Warrior, the treasure edition. This includes all of the DLC. One Piece Pirate Warrior 1 and 2, the double pack. This is sealed. Here we have Order Up. Overlord 2. Um, Pac Man and the Ghostly Adventures 2.
Painkiller, hell and damnation. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars cheaper than the American version, guys. Insane the price discrepancies between the two games. And the version they got released in Germany, Painkiller, Hell and Damnation, the cut version. Now this has got cut content from the original version. PDC World Championships Darts Pro Tour. I'm just going to grab another pile of games, guys. Now this next one was one of the last PS3 releases, I believe it was, I can't actually remember if it was the last power release or not, or if that was a FIFA game, um, but here we have Persona 5, this is the UK version, it's sealed, I did pre-order this one guys, a few PES games, we've got 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, now the next few got Australian releases, and then we have Euro 2016 cover, 2017, this one's a little bit harder to find and a little bit more expensive, and 2018 which is still quite expensive. I have two versions of the PlayStation Network download codes. Uh, this one is from the UK, it includes the Red Spine, it's an older one. Um, the games it features are Gran Turismo 5 Prologue, Ratchet and Clank Quest for Booty, Super Stardust HD and The Last Guy. Now this following one is from the Netherlands, it's Dutch, it has the Black Spine. It includes seven games, including Flower, Wipeout HD, Burnout Paradise, Burnout Paradise Party, Crash Commando, Battlefield 1943, and Trash Panic. Here we have Port Royale 3, the Gold Edition. Uh, this is a cover variant for Prince of Persia. I believe it was a HMV cover variant, this one. It's really cool. Um, Putty Squad, this one was pretty hard to find. We imported it from the UK. Sorry guys. Uh, here we have one of the rarest, most expensive PS3 games, guys. This is an Indian exclusive. It is RA1 the game. This is going for astronomical figures right now. If you want to see gameplay, I do have a video on my channel, guys. Um, it was actually pretty fun. I played it for a couple of hours. You can see in the video I enjoyed myself. Uh, that is RA1 the game. Um, no, I cannot find you a copy. <laughs> so many people have asked me. Um, my contact in India can't find copies anymore, guys. So take it with a grain of salt. Pretty much eBay is going to be your only option unless you find a collector selling a copy. That is RA1 the game. Um, just being mindful that there are some fake copies of this out there. Uh, make sure it does have the artwork on the inside. Um, there were some fakes on eBay last year without the inside artwork being sold. I'd hate to see a genuine collector spending hundreds of dollars on a, um, a reprinted copy, guys. Just take that with a grain of salt. Now, I don't think... It may not have been malicious. I know a friend a few years ago in India ordered copies from CEX in India and they arrived with reprinted covers. CEX are known for doing this. However, it got into the hands of an eBay reseller who was selling them as genuine copies, so things like that can happen. Here we have the Rayman Legends Origins Double Pack. This one's really cool, it took me years to find. I eventually found it in a CEX store when I was in Amsterdam. It was really cheap too, so that was really cool. 
Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, the Nordic gun pack. Resistance 3, and this one includes LA Movie on Blu-ray Disc. How many people really talk about this one? It has got the double C and E guys with the Blu-ray. Rock Revolution. Now yeah, moving on to some rugby games. These are all ones that didn't get Australian releases. Um, so we have Rugby 15 from South Africa. General Omu Rugby Challenge. General Omu Rugby Challenge includes the top 14 orange, which is the French League. Just gonna put this pile away guys and then grab another one. Here we have Rugby Challenge, Jonah Lomu's Rugby Challenge 2. This was a French release, I believe. The Lions Tour Edition Rugby Challenge 2. This one was out of the UK. Rugby Challenge 3 from Jonah Lomu, of course from France. You can see the French flag in the background. Rugby Challenge 3, the Springbok edition. This was new um, South Africa, guys. And finally from the UK, we have the England edition. Moving on to Rugby League. We have Rugby League Live from the UK. Rugby League Live 2. Rugby League Live 2 Game of the Year Edition. And Rugby League Live 3. Here is Saint Seiya, Soldier's Soul. Now importing this for an A collector, if you don't mind getting a power copy, is definitely a cheaper option, because this is pretty expensive to get the Mexican exclusive. Now this is Saints Row Get Out of Hell, the vanilla edition. This didn't get released in Australia. I imported it, it's a sealed copy. Now here we have an Italian release. This is Saints Row 4, the Game of the Century edition. Shout out to Niccolo for the help with this one. Saints Row Double Pack. Saints Row 3 and 4, all the DLCs. This is a really cool edition, guys. Here we have Saw 1. Uh, two pretty expensive horror games, the Saw games, guys. If you can see them for a reasonable price, I'd definitely be grabbing them these days. And this one is Saw 2. A couple of German games, guys. We have Schlag, Dan, Rab, Dusty, Spiel 2 and 3. They are German quiz show games. Apparently they're pretty fun. And they look really cool. One's orange, one's purpley blue. That's about all I know about those ones. Here we have Shellshock 2 Blood Trails. Silent Hill Downpour. The Silent Hill HD Collection includes Silent Hill 2 and 3. And my sim Sky Heroes. Just gonna grab another pile, guys. It won't be too long.
Here we have the Sleeping Dogs Limited Edition with the red cover. Now this gets mistaken for the Essentials version, it, is, it isn't. And we have the Nordic and the Beanie Lux Editions. Right, here we have a pretty rare game guys. This is the banned South Park game from Germany. Um, this got pulled before it was released, however a few copies are still out there. Um, they go for a couple of hundred dollars these days. Now to tell these ones apart, it needs to have this RID in German rating on the front. Most copies you will say will have the 16, not the 18, or they'll have the Peggy 18. Um, but the banned one is this one with the USK 18 label on the front. Space Hulk. Street Fighter vs Tekken, the Nordic edition. Summer Stars 2012. Summer Challenge Athletics Tournament. And Summer Challenge Athletics Tournament. This is a cover variant, guys. This one, I believe, is a little bit harder to find. A game that is very expensive in North America, but not as expensive in the PAL region, at least yet. Um, so if you don't mind getting a PAL copy, I'd definitely be importing this one. It is the Siberia Collection. Now, this is going for like 500 plus US dollars right now. It's insane, guys. Here we have Syndicate. Now this next one is a very, very niche game guys, I'd definitely be looking out for it. And it's the Tales of Graces F, the Tales of Symphonia Chronicles double pack. It was a PAL exclusive and it's becoming very expensive. Um, so if you want to pick this one up, I'd definitely be going for it sooner rather than later. Same goes for this next game I'm going to show you guys. And that is the Tales of Zillia double pack 1 and 2. Again, it was a PAL exclusive guys. They're two amazing games, so to get them both in one pack is pretty cool. And we also have Tales of Zillia 2. Now Australia only received a steelbook, um, so to actually get a standard release you have to import it. Now I've had a few collectors actually ask me if there was a standard release our version of Tales of Zillia 2. Here we have Terraria. Amazing game, guys. Sorry. Tesla Guard, another amazing title. This is by the Tedesco. Here we have the Beanie Lux and the Nordic limited editions of Thief. We've got Tom Clancy's signature edition of Ghost Recon Future Soldier. It's got a pretty cool cover, this one. A couple of double packs. This one is Rainbow Six, um, sorry, Rainbow Six Vegas 2 and Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2. Another Tom Clancy double pack. This one features Rainbow Six Vegas 1 and Splinter Cell Double Agent. Just gonna grab another pile guys, we've got two piles to go. Appreciate your patience. Um, here we have the Tomb Raider Game of the Year edition. Tomb Raider the Nordic and the Benelux editions. I'm going to eventually do a video on the full Benelux and Nordic and um, the Australian sets. As is the ANZ editions. 
Uh, so stay tuned for that video in the future, guys. Here we have Tomb Raider Underworld. Didn't get an Australian release, however, it did get a collector's edition, which is funny. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. One of my favorite games on the PS3, Tornado Outbreak. I highly recommend playing this one, guys. You can grab it still while it's still a reasonable price. Uh, it has been creeping up, though. Here we have Tower of Guns, the special edition. Again, a Sadesco title. Truck Racer. Uh, this one was pretty hard to find, guys. Two Worlds 2. Here we have Turbo Super Stunt Squad. Uh, Two Worlds 2 Game of the Year Edition. And that should be in alphabetical order. I'm just going to fix that up. Turbo was in the wrong spot. Uh, so here we have the Ultimate Stealth and the Ultimate Action Triple Packs. The Stealth Pack includes Thief, Hitman, Absolution, and um, Deus Ex Human Ran Revolution. <laughs> Where the Action Pack includes Just Cause 2, Sleeping Dogs, and Tomb Raider. When I was reading this name out, I was looking at the back of this one, I'm like, Hitman isn't there. <laughs> Uh, so these are pretty cool packs to have, guys. Uh, the only shoot 'em up that didn't only get a Japanese release. We have Ultra Defeat HD, the Deluxe Edition. This is a very good game, guys. I'd definitely be picking it up. It does come with a soundtrack as well. I don't keep my soundtracks in the games. I keep them all separate. Here we have Venetica, a pretty obscure game you don't see too rarely anymore. Here we have a couple of voice exclusive titles. Firstly we have La Voice 2, this was the Spanish release. And in Germany we have The Voice of Germany Volume 2. And then Spain must really love their voice because they got La Voice Volume 3 as well. Here we have a French, Spanish, Italian exclusive. This is Wanted Core. Uh, it's pretty desired by collectors, guys. It's a pretty cool title. The Vanilla Watchdogs. We didn't get this in Australia as we got the ANZ edition. And Way of the Samurai 3. On par left, guys, we're almost there. Winter Stars. Winter Sports 2010. Now this is Wolfenstein, but what's special about this is this is the banned German edition. Pretty much the same as the South Park game. It features Nazi references. So it got pulled from stores around the time of release, I'm not entirely sure the story behind this one, um, but I know copies were banned. Uh, this shouldn't have been sold. I was able to purchase a copy. Uh, so this again with the USK 18 rating is a banned version, guys. It's quite expensive compared to the regular Wolfenstein version. However, not as expensive as the South Park game. Here we have Worms, the Revolution Collection. World Snooker Championship 2007. World Snooker Championship 2009. 
and 2011. Uh, this is the, um, so this comes with two discs. This was the Bret Hart PAL edition case where the Australian version didn't come with a bonus disc. So I decided to keep this as well. <laughs> like, oh, it's a variant. Um, yeah, so this was with a slip cover and Bret Hart, obviously. And weirdly enough, in Australia, we didn't get the bonus DVD. Over in the UK, they did. Here we have X Blades. The X Factor. And the Russian version of Hannah Montana. Zana Montana with an X has a black spine which is making it significant because the regular release has a red spine finally guys the last game of this video is X Blade Code Embryo that's a visual novel so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these PAL games um, I believe we're on episode 7 of my PS3 collection um, we've got North American games slip covers steel books Japanese games, Platinums, Essentials, and Collector's Edition slash Special Edition slash Limited Editions to go. Um, it's gonna show, probably take like another three or four hours to show you guys my entire PS3 collection. Um, hence the world's largest PS3 collection thumbnail. I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate, but I don't know anyone who has more PS3 games than me. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know below if any of these games that you've seen today, if you want to pick them up, if you've added them to a list, or if they're interesting to you that you don't own, and that would be pretty cool to hear. Um, yeah, I've been Figs, you guys have been awesome. Leave a like, say something below, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.